This segment of Domarva Life is brought to you by Tidal Health. It's well established that Tidal Health, with all of their locations and medical specialties, is an unparalleled healthcare provider. Everything from major surgical procedures right down to your standard checkup, they've got you covered. Now, overseeing Tidal Health's vast network of healthcare is no easy task, but the future is bright not only for them, but for those of us that make use of their cutting edge services. And here to speak to that is Chris Hall. He is Tidal Health's Vice President of Strategy and Business Development. He's also their Chief Business Officer. Chris, welcome to Del Thank Marva you. Life. Happy to be here. All right, look into your crystal ball. Tell us about the, the future of, of Tidal Health. What do you see? You know, when we develop our strategic plans, you always start with the mission, vision, and values of a company. So the mission has been true since 1897 to improve the health of the communities we serve. It actually started when Dr. Todd, his horses got tired <laughs> from traveling out into the Delmarva taking care of people. So he built a first hospital in Salisbury. And since that time, you know, we continue to grow. So our mission to improve the health of the communities we serve, our vision is to be that trusted healthcare provider um, connecting world-class healthcare for the Delmarva Peninsula. So once you know your vision, then we set out our long-term strategies and we kept it really simple. Access, efficiency, and engagement. So how do we make sure we have the right locations at the right time for the right people? How do we be efficient with our technology, with our training and our talent? And then how do we engage not only the community to improve their health, but also how do you engage team members as well as doctors and providers? Well, you hmm. spoke of locations. I mean, how do you plan a healthcare system with that many locations? So Title Health has a very strong commitment to being a regional-based provider. We don't want national companies. We want to keep it local where decisions are local and all the healthcare is local. So what we have is uh, back in 2020, we merged. We had Nanticoke Memorial Hospital merged with Peninsula Regional Medical Center at the time. And then McCready and a bunch of doctor's offices wanted to join as well. So that kind of renamed everything to Tidal Health. So we have to look around to say, all right, where are the population? Where does healthcare need to be located at a lower cost, more efficient, better access? But we're looking into locations to say, okay, how do we put the right location where communities are, but also how do we train the next um, generation of healthcare providers? Right, right. Okay, so you just opened, and I want to make sure I get this right, Tidal Health Edward Q. Wilgus Community Clinic. How does that fit in? So that in thing? that second one, I remember it said access, efficiency, and mm -hmm. engagement. That second one about efficiency, that's part of it is training. So, you know, there's, there's shortage of doctors everywhere in the nation. Mm -hmm. They're just not coming. There's not enough residency slots. So real quick, to make a doctor, you got four years of undergrad, four years of medical school. In the third year, you have to kind of do something called a clerkship. So you have to go out and about and to kind of, what do you want to do when you grow up? So we are actually a core clinical site for several colleges, for medical schools to come and do a little bit of exploring and training. Once you graduate, you're a doctor, but you can't practice yet. You have to do something called a residency. Mm -hmm. So we started residency programs because why not grow your own? And the national studies say 50% of people where they train, that's where they end up practicing. So we just started internal medicine. That was important because internal medicine is like the springboard to cardiology and some of the other subspecialties. So we did internal medicine. We're doing family medicine, anesthesia. We have general surgery already started. We have another, uh, a number of others coming down the pike as well as fellowship programs. But the, the clinic that you just mentioned, that is actually for the internal medicine residents. So they have to, by rules of the graduate medical education programs, they have to train, they have to practice in a location. So we chose a site on East Church Street in an area that needs some building and um, revitalization, but also some of our other ones like family medicine, we have to choose another location. So you're going to see a few of these. I'll give you a little, little nugget there. You're going to see a few other clinics like that around the community. But in the next several years, we're going to have 170 doctors training here on the shore. Wow. That's great. Very impressive. All right, so what do you envision for the future? Back to that whole crystal ball thing. Yeah, so remember I was mentioning it's about the vision statement. So the vision is where we want to be in, in long term. It's our future state. So we want to be that trusted healthcare provider with the right locations and providing world-class care. So we're going to continue to invest into our facility. So the main bedrock, the hospitals, are going to continue to expand in the services. Here in Salisbury, the heart program has taken off since the 70s. We've actually been doing open heart since 1974, 72. And we go, we're into something called structural heart now. So we're actually replacing valves in the heart through the veins going in intravenously. So we're continuing to push the envelope there because we're really like a metropolitan level hospital of the level of care we provide here in a rural community. So we're gonna continue to look at that, provide great um, services in Seaford, 
but we're looking to the outpatient. So the next venture you'll see soon is Millsboro. We're going to be doing a very large complex like we did in Ocean Pines mm -hmm. up in Millsboro. Thanks. Chris, the future looks bright for Tidal Health, and we are so fortunate to have it here on Delmarva. Thank you so much. Absolutely. For Thank you. Us in.